Supercharge your soil. Natural ways to improve microbial life. Hey there fellow gardeners and eco-enthusiasts. Welcome back to EcoAlchemy. I'm Pete and today we're continuing our deep dive into the fascinating world of soil microbiology. We're focusing on how to enhance and protect the living ecosystem beneath our feet to create the most productive and sustainable garden possible. Get ready to unlock the secrets to healthier plants and richer harvests. In the last episode, we explored the hidden world of soil microbes, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and other tiny organisms that make soil come alive. These microscopic powerhouses are the unsung heroes of our gardens. Now we're shifting gears and talking about how to boost this microbial life naturally, so your soil becomes richer, healthier, and more self-sustaining over time. If you're enjoying these science-based gardening episodes and eager to learn more about creating a thriving ecosystem in your backyard, make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any future deep dives. Let's get started on this journey to healthier soil. Soil is only as good as the life inside it. A garden success doesn't just come from fertilizers or amendments. It comes from supporting the organisms that do the real work of breaking down nutrients, maintaining soil structure, and protecting plant roots. Think of your soil as a bustling city, and the microbes are the essential workers keeping everything running smoothly. These microbes are responsible for nutrient cycling, disease suppression, and even improving soil structure. By fostering a healthy soil microbiome, we can create a resilient and productive garden that requires less intervention and yields more bountiful harvests. It's all about working with nature, not against it. One of the best ways to supercharge soil microbiology is by adding compost. Compost is packed with living microorganisms, organic matter, and beneficial bacteria that jumpstart soil life. It's like giving your soil a potent probiotic boost. The best compost is diverse, made from kitchen scraps, yard waste, manure, and plant materials, ensuring a wide range of microbial species. Regularly adding a thin layer of compost feeds your soil microbes and helps them multiply. This, in turn, improves soil structure, water retention, and nutrient availability for your plants. Aim for a diverse compost mix to introduce a wide array of beneficial microbes to your garden. Mulch acts like a protective blanket for soil, keeping microbes safe from extreme temperatures, erosion, and drying out. Organic mulches like straw, leaves, wood chips, and grass clippings slowly break down, feeding soil life and improving moisture retention. Think of mulch as a cozy home for your microbial workforce. Keeping soil covered also prevents harmful UV rays from killing beneficial bacteria and fungi. Choose organic mulches that will decompose over time, enriching the soil as they break down. This simple practice can significantly improve soil health and reduce the need for watering. Cover crops are one of the most underrated tools for building soil microbiology. Plants like clover, vetch, rye, and buckwheat not only protect soil in the off-season, but also feed beneficial microbes when they decompose. They're like a green manure that revitalizes the soil. Some cover crops, like legumes, even fix nitrogen into the soil, providing free fertilizer. Instead of pulling them up, cutting and leaving the roots in place allows microbial life to continue thriving underground. This practice also adds organic matter to the soil, further enhancing its fertility. Consider incorporating cover crops into your gardening routine to improve soil health and reduce the need for synthetic fertilizers. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, organic amendments nourish soil microbes rather than disrupt them. Worm castings, aged manure, compost teas, and fish emulsions provide slow-release nutrients while keeping microbial life balanced. These amendments are like a balanced diet for your soil microbes, providing them with the nutrients they need to thrive. Biochar, made from carbon-rich burned plant material, enhances microbial habitat by providing tiny crevices where bacteria and fungi can thrive. It's like building tiny condos for your microbial residents. Choose organic amendments that are appropriate for your soil type and plant needs, and always follow application guidelines. Disturbing the soil too often destroys fungal networks and disrupts microbial colonies. 
If you want to preserve microbial health, reduce tilling as much as possible. Tilling can disrupt the delicate balance of the soil ecosystem, harming beneficial fungi and bacteria. Instead, use no-dig methods, broad forks, or top dressing with compost and mulch to maintain structure. Healthy fungi, like mycorrhizal fungi, form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, helping them absorb water and nutrients more efficiently. These fungi act as an extension of the plant's root system, increasing its ability to access essential resources. Embrace no-till gardening practices to protect these vital fungal networks. Even something as simple as watering correctly can impact microbial life. Overwatering drowns oxygen-dependent microbes, while letting soil dry out completely kills off active bacteria and fungi. The best practice is deep, infrequent watering that maintains steady moisture without extremes. Think of it as providing a consistent supply of hydration for your microbial workforce. Rainwater, compost tea, or dechlorinated water help keep soil microbes thriving, as tap water with chlorine can sometimes reduce beneficial bacteria populations. Use a rain barrel to collect rainwater for your garden and consider brewing your own compost tea to nourish your soil microbes. Chemical fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides wreak havoc on soil biology. While synthetic fertilizers give plants an instant nutrient boost, they often kill beneficial bacteria and fungi, leaving the soil dependent on artificial inputs. These chemicals can disrupt the delicate balance of the soil ecosystem, harming beneficial organisms and reducing soil fertility over time. Instead, focusing on organic matter, compost, and natural amendments builds long-term fertility without damaging the ecosystem underground. Embrace organic gardening practices to protect the soil food web and create a healthy, sustainable garden. The beauty of supporting soil microbiology is that it pays off year after year. A soil teeming with microbial life retains more nutrients, resists disease, holds moisture better, and produces stronger, healthier plants, all with less effort over time. It's an investment in the long-term health and productivity of your garden. By focusing on building healthy soil, you can create a resilient and thriving garden that requires less intervention and yields more bountiful harvests. It's a win-win for you and the environment. In the next episode, we're wrapping up our soil microbiology mini-series by exploring real-world techniques to test and monitor soil life at home. I'll share some simple tests you can do to see just how alive your soil really is. These tests will help you assess the health of your soil and identify areas for improvement. Understanding the health of your soil is crucial for creating a thriving garden. Stay tuned for our next episode to learn how to test and monitor soil life at home. Let me know in the comments, what are you doing to improve soil life in your garden? Have you noticed changes over time? We'd love to hear about your experiences and learn from your successes. Sharing your knowledge and insights can help other gardeners create healthier and more sustainable gardens. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science-backed gardening insights. Your support helps us create more content and reach a wider audience of gardeners and eco-enthusiasts. Until the next episode, keep your hands dirty and your hearts in the garden.